My name is Reed Dawson with Dawson's Bell Pine Straw. We're a, a wholesale bell pine straw producer located in Deep East Texas, Garrison, Texas. Uh, our principal markets are Dallas, Houston, and the lower parts of Louisiana. What we produce is a square bell of pine straw, covers roughly 80 square feet at three inch depth. Um, um, we're the, some of the benefits of using pine straw or as, as a landscaping mulch is weed control, erosion control. Uh, you're offering uh, temperature, uh, as far as soil is concerned, a, a temperature control for your plants, root systems. Um, it's by far, um, we think, a superior landscaping mulch uh, to be used in this area. Uh, for landowners, um, we do write land, we do have our own plantations. We also do lease land from landowners for pine straw belling purposes. Um, not every plantation is perfect for pine straw belling. Others are in the right stage for pine straw bellings. We normally start on a stand right about 10 years old, sometime between 8 and 10 years old, before the first thinning has happened. Uh, you don't want a lot of um, sticks or cones. Um, are deciduous leaves in the pine straw, simply because what you're looking for is a just pine straw. No other, the, the landowner really likes a, a clean, attractive look without a lot of debris in the straw. Um, so before we get started bailing on your stand, we will take a look at it and make sure everything is, is right as far as your time period is concerned for our straw harvesting. Um, as, as for, for pine straw leases, pine straw bailing, uh, you're going to see two different types of contracts written. One is a pay per harvest contract where the landowner is actually paid per bale coming off of the stand. The harvester has a, a much smaller risk if he's harvesting that way. Uh, that way basically if uh, time issues are concerned, weather issues are concerned, he gets on the stand and he has a deciduous leaf fall where he can't actually get as many, as many straw bales as he has originally anticipated off. The harvester has a much smaller risk involved if he pays per bale. Uh, and now then there is again an issue with the landowner, how many bales are being harvested, what are his counting methods, uh, how is each bale accounted for. Um, all those things are worked out on an individual basis with the landowner depending on how involved he is with the uh, actual harvest. Another type of contract that is written is a per acre basis uh, where Say if you have 100 acres of pine straw, the land acre, the landowner pays you so much per acre per year for harvesting the straw. A typical yield uh, for a 10-year-old plantation for a square bale, dimensions 14 by 14 by 26, is roughly 100 to 150 bales per acre. Now that's on a first year harvest. If all your conditions are right, very few sticks, cones, or leaves in the plantation, you're going to see a variance anywhere between 60 bales at a low end number to 200 bales on a high end number. It, uh, the sites vary so much, it's, um, it's very difficult to give a, a concrete number per acre um, for a pine straw harvest. It also depends on the, uh, the efficiency of the harvester um, and the size of the bales. There's so many different um, variables there. You want to make uh, you want to see the baler's bales, um, how he works, um, know as much about him before about him before he goes on your actual stand harvest. You want to be confident that all the questions have been asked before you start into a pine straw baling operation. If you're harvesting 150 bales per acre uh, in East Texas, uh, harvesters are normally paying 10 cents per bale per year on the harvest. Now again, that depends on the size of a bale. If uh, the dimensions of our bales, we pay 10 cents per bale. If we bailed a bale that was twice this size, well obviously we would pay the landowner twice that amount of money. Uh, as a wholesale producer, um, we have developed um, a method for year-round availability of our product. Uh, we've developed a drying method uh, where we can actually dry the pine straw if it's harvested wet and offer a year-round uh, product or service to our, um, to our customers, which um, previously hasn't been seen in the pine straw industry. Um, we offer a bulk buying service where we actually buy straw from um, volunteer groups, Boy Scouts, fraternities, sororities, offering a uh, basically new funds for them as they clean up their yards or their grounds. Um, we're excited about that. It's something new here in East Texas, a, a new revenue for not necessarily landowners, but um, 
for volunteer groups. This is this is one of our square bales. The dimensions are 14 by 14 by 26. So that's 14 in width by 14 in height by 26 inches in length. You can expect 80 square feet of coverage at a 3 inch depth from one pine straw square bale. Our bales are hand raked. All the sticks and cones are removed and machine compressed. That way we get the maximum actual compression out of one bale. You can see that they stay together excellent. Um, we actually developed our own baler that uh, maintains this type of compression and, and a bale that will really stay together for a retail purpose. That uh, can be moved several times, no problem.